See, most people act for awards, accolades, money. I act for parental guidance complaints on the internet. That's that's what drives me. Hey, I'm Jerry O'Connell, and we are playing Parental Advisory. Son of a bitch is said twice. Somewhat strong for a PG movie. I guess we could have said son of a gun. Let's try it. Son of a gun. Or son of a bitch. I'm going to guess this film uh, was Kangaroo Jack because it is, uh, I think it's the only PG movie I've done. (laughs) <laughs> I can't believe that was a PG movie on the Apollo missions. I'm sure they said son of a bitch. I'm sure they said a lot worse. Yes. Okay, we're ready to light this candle. Let's go to Mars. I can't believe Mr. Mars was a PG movie. <laughs> That's the biggest shock to me. A visit to a nude beach includes brief nudity. I know what film this is. This is from an amazing film I did called Calendar Girl. And there was a nude beach scene where we go to a nude beach and we have to take our clothes off. A nude beach? I was 18 at the time I made this film. 18. Think about that. So I'm sorry. There's brief nudity in Calendar Girl. Definitely buttocks. It better be Calendar Girl. That can't be Mission to Mars. (laughs) About 18 to 20 uses of the F word. What film could this be? I did a film called Body Shots. Uh, It could be an amazing, another amazing film I did called Tomcats. I'm going to say it is Body Shots. (laughs) (laughs) When I'm playing this game, I should just guess everything is either Stand By Me or Jerry Maguire, two of the arguably greatest films I have been a part of. I can't believe Jerry Maguire had that many F-bombs in it. You had me at than movies like Shawshank Redemption. I'm going to guess that's Stand By Me because Stand By Me was a novella, a short story in a book of Stephen King's short stories called Different Seasons. It was four short stories. I'm going to guess this comment was made because Stand By Me is less extreme than Shawshank Redemption. This is really a good time. There is a lot of cursing in Stand By Me. I do know that because parents sometimes say to me, I showed my kid Stand By Me and there was a lot of curse words in it. Like, I have to apologize for it. <laughs> and I usually do. I usually go, I'm so sorry about that. A man staggers to a toilet and says, gotta point the old Percy at the porcelain. That is from Kangaroo Jack, I remember. We're trying to charter a flight to find this kangaroo that we put a jacket on with $10,000 on it in the outback. It's a long story. You, you gotta watch the movie to understand what I'm talking about. The kangaroo got the money. Look how tall he is. <laughs> But our pilot is drunk, and he says to us, I have to point the old Percy at the porcelain, which I guess is meaning he has to go number one. Various characters wear form-fitting clothing. I'm going to guess that's a film I did. It's called Space Station 76, and we wore, like, form-fitting 70s clothing. Dark Apocalypse, which is a DC animated film. I mean, I play Superman. But doesn't Superman wear form-fitting clothing? Isn't his outfit form-fitting? They're they're superheroes. They're wearing form-fitting outfits. That's what it is. Thank you for responding so quickly. This can only be looked at as a prelude to war. I hope they don't watch Calendar Girl, where there's nudity on a nude beach scene. By the way, all those DC animated films are great. Everyone should watch them, even though there are various characters wearing form-fitting clothing. All right, I'm Jerry O'Connell. That was Parental Advisory. See all you parents in the comment section.